Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I wanted to do a video that's actually been requested for quite some time and it is how I use Pinterest to reinvent my existing wardrobe. So this video is not going to be so much how to use Pinterest in general because I think we're all pretty familiar with that. So this video is going to be more about how I use Pinterest as a tool, like I said, to reinvent my existing wardrobe and be filled with brand new inspiration. Pinterest is one of my absolute favorite platforms. I think at times I even use Pinterest much more than I use Instagram. Just to get this out of the way, this video is by no means sponsored by Pinterest. I just really enjoy the platform and I really just want to pass on my knowledge and my routines in using the platform with you guys. And I look at it kind of like a fashion magazine because obviously I pin mostly fashion related content on my Pinterest boards. So I feel like it's like sitting down and opening a fashion magazine sometimes. So I kind of satisfy my inner fashionista that way. So to make this video as structured as possible, I have actually divided my tips into five um, so that I'm going to be sharing five different ways that I use Pinterest to reinvent my existing wardrobe and to reassure myself that I have a great style, I don't need to change anything um, and also just as a tool before actually buying something. So let's just get started. So first of all, of course, I use Pinterest as inspiration for finding new outfits that I can create with something that I already have in my wardrobe. So whenever I find an image that I really like, I pin it to one of my boards. I have all of my boards divided into different categories. So for example, it's spring summer time now, so I might be searching for spring summer outfits. Then I pin the images that I know I can recreate the looks of. Of course, it's important that it's something that I like first and foremost, but it's kind of important to me as well that it's something that I can recreate with things that I already have. So for example, I have a board called, let me just find it one second. I have this board called My Style Mixed Inspo. So there's just a lot of different images in here. And I would say most of these outfits and inspiration images here are kind of basic so I would probably be able to recreate all of these looks with something that I have in my basic wardrobe. And the way I actually do this is, you know, sometimes when I wake up in the morning or if I have an event to go to, I like to check Pinterest to see if there's something that I'm inspired by or that I can get inspired by. And then I recreate my looks with something similar. So if for example, I have an outfit with, let's find an outfit here as an example. So for example, here's a girl wearing a biker jacket, a white t-shirt, a pair of gray jeans, and a pair of leopard boots. Now, I don't have any leopard boots in my wardrobe, but I do have a pair of brown boots or a pair of leopard flats. So in that way, I constantly try to challenge myself to recreate out outfits with things that I already have instead of thinking, oh, I need this item because chances are I already have something that can kind of fulfill that need, if you know what I mean. So another way that I like to reinvent my existing wardrobe with Pinterest is actually by having a look into my wardrobe and picking an item and then base my search on Pinterest upon that. So let's say I have a denim jacket and I really want to wear it a lot more, I want to be inspired on how to style that denim jacket, I would search for, for example, denim jacket outfit minimal. Um, because then I get these very basic and minimal outfits and I know that's something that resembles my own true style as well. And then I'll just start pinning everything that inspires me and all the looks that I like that I know I can recreate. So I kind of do things backwards, I guess, because I know many people use Pinterest to look for new items or new things they want to add to their wardrobe, for example. But for me, it's as much a tool to reinvent what I already have. I feel like I've said this a hundred times throughout this video already, um, but I hope it makes sense. I use it a lot to kind of reassure myself and to 
really dig into the things that I already have. So moving on to the second tip that I want to share with you guys is to use Pinterest as a tool for planning your capsule wardrobes. Many of you guys know that I am a capsule wardrobe blogger. I have a lot of content with my capsule wardrobe. It's something that is a bit big part of all of my social platforms. So I have a lot of different boards on my Pinterest and uh, each and every season I actually make a season based Pinterest board. So for example, I have one called spring summer inspo and then I have another board with all of my wishes for that coming season. So that's one way that I use Pinterest as a tool for planning my capsule wardrobes and it's a great way of really rethinking your existing wardrobe but also thinking a lot about it before you go out and buy something new. If you look through my spring summer inspiration board there's a lot of different images and there are a lot of outfits with things that I don't have in my wardrobe but again I always look at these these images and then I try to like force myself to be creative with what I already have and if there's something I really feel like I'm missing I always try to see if I can find that either in a secondhand version or then I turn to some of the ethical brands but most of the time I can actually recreate these looks with something I have that is pretty similar it's often not the exact same item but it's very similar and that is enough for me in most cases. So like I also mentioned in the first step I always have a look inside my wardrobe and then I pick a specific item and base my search upon that specific item so that I get a lot of inspiration on how to style that particular item. And the same goes for when I want to add something new to my wardrobe I actually always go straight into Pinterest and see if I can find some inspiration on how to style that new item that I'm considering adding to my wardrobe just to be sure that it's something that I will get a lot of wear out of and just to get some ideas on how to style a certain item. So for example I have just recently purchased a pair of denim dungarees. Um, I bought them secondhand on ASOS Marketplace and I love those dungarees so much already. But it can kind of be hard to style a pair of dungarees. So before I even went out and bought those dungarees, I searched Pinterest for a lot of inspiration on how to style them. And that way I was sure that I was gonna like them and that I was gonna be able to style them in different ways. So I always make these season based boards and then a wish list besides that as well to kind of make it easier for myself to plan my capsule wardrobes. So let's move on to the third tip, which is to search for specific words. I know you guys probably already know that, but I thought I just wanted to share some of the most common words that I search for myself because I think that's it's actually pretty important to know what to search for if you want images that are as close to what you're looking for as possible. So what I like to do is actually often to throw in the word minimal. Um, whether I'm searching for outfit inspiration, fashion inspiration or if I'm searching for interior inspiration I always throw in that word. So for example if I'm looking for outfit inspiration and I want to be inspired on how to style an army jacket like the one that I'm wearing today. I would probably type something like army jacket outfit minimal. So because it's an outfit I'm looking for I would probably also throw in the word outfit. So it kind of depends on what style you have and what you're looking for but I definitely recommend you to kind of stick with specific words so that you always find what you're looking for and what resembles your own true style as well. So because my own style is pretty basic, it almost works every time to write minimal behind almost every sentence as well when I'm searching for something. I know that my style is also a bit more feminine and there's also something a bit edgy in my style, but the word minimal just always fits and I always find something that I like when I put in that word in my search as well. Mm -hmm. 
So let's jump to tip number four, which is um, searching for whatever you're in the mood for, if that makes sense. So again, it's kind of the same as I've already said in some of the other steps, but if I'm in the mood for wearing my leather jacket one morning or for a special occasion even, and I just need a boost of inspiration on how to wear that leather jacket, I will go to Pinterest and I will search for outfits with a leather jacket. And then I will kind of pick and choose what I'm in the mood for and create my outfits based upon that. So again, I do things kind of backwards to what many other people might do, um, but I really enjoy working with my wardrobe like this. For me, it's truly a way to satisfy my inner fashionista and I think it's so much fun. I actually also have a board on my Pinterest called Weekend Mood. So if I'm in the mood for just being totally casual but still kind of put together, I will go to that board and see if I can find something that I am inspired by on that particular day and then throw something on. I also have a board called Festival slash Boho. So um, summer is often the season of a lot of festivals. So if I feel like going a little bit more rock chic or channeling my inner bohemian woman, I will go to this Pinterest board and see if I can find something that I can create some outfits from. Then I also have a newer Pinterest board. I only recently started pinning images to this board, which is called Scandi Chic. So again, this is this very Scandinavian vibe. And if I'm in the mood for that, this is the Pinterest board that I will turn to. So I know, like I said, that my style seems very structured and that I'm very, um, I am very true to my style, but I also do let myself dress for what I am in the mood for on the particular day. So the fifth and final tip that I want to share with you is to make some Pinterest boards with all of your favorite style icons. You guys know that I love turning to my style icons. I have an entire series here on my YouTube channel called Steal Her Style, which is about me um, stealing the style of my favorite style icons. I always create three different looks and I only use things that I already have in my wardrobe. Um, because that kind of forces me to be more creative again with what I already have and to create new outfits that I probably wouldn't have come up with myself. Um, so that is another great way to use Pinterest as a tool to reinvent your existing wardrobe. I do have a Pinterest board with my favorite style icons. I'm just searching for it. Here it is. And uh, yeah, some of the style icons I have on here are Anina Bing, it is um, Caroline Di Magre, it is Camille Rowe, Lucy Williams of Fashion Me Now, she has impeccable style. All of these cool women that I am inspired by every single day and that I might not share the same style with 100%, but that still inspire me and that I can still take elements from and kind of um, create my own outfits with. So it can both be, you know, their specific outfits, but it can also just be the way they do their hair or their general attitude, something like that. All sorts of things that inspire me by these women. So yeah, that is mainly how I use Pinterest. Like I said in the beginning, I have a lot of different boards in here. I also have an entire board with all of my own outfits from my Instagram and my blog. I have an entire board with all of my capsule wardrobe overviews for you guys to be able to pin. And then I also just have like beauty boards. I have color swatches that I love, accessories, holiday decorations, all sorts of things that inspire me. And you know, that's the way that everyone uses Pinterest. So that's not really anything new there, but I really hope that the way I use Pinterest as a tool to reinvent my wardrobe. If we look at the fashion area only, I really hope that it inspired you. So that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Also head over to my Instagram, follow me over there. My username is useless underscore DK. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.
Don't say it.